In this video, we will learn about lap winding design and its development. This is the question statement. We need to calculate different pitch, back pitch and winding pitch for a simplex lap wound 16 slot 4 pole DCR major. We are also asked to make the winding table and draw the winding diagram in its developed form and also draw the sequence diagram to show the position of the brushes. And it is given to assume that two coil sides are per slot. Now two coil sides per slot means it is a double layer winding. Double layer winding means in a single slot there are two coil sides as indicated in the diagram over here. So in each slot there would be two coil side layers. Number of poles is 4 and number of slots is 16 which is equal to number of coils. Now number of commutator segments would be equal to number of coils that is equal to 16 because it is a simplex winding. Now number of coil sides would be number of coils multiplied by 2 because each coil will have 2 sides. So there would be total 32 coil sides and coil sides per slot would be obviously 32 by 16 that is 2. Now we need to calculate the pole pitch. So total number of coil sides divided by the number of poles will give us the pole pitch is equal to 8. Let us assume that it is a progressive winding. So back pitch would be given by Z by P plus 1 or pole pitch plus 1. If we would assume that it is a retrogressive winding then here the signs in back pitch and front pitch will get reversed. So here we will have negative sign and here we will have positive sign. So back pitch would be equal to 9 and it is an odd number so it is valid for lap winding. In the same way we will get front pitch as z by p minus 1 and that would be equal to 7 so that is also odd so it is valid. Now winding pitch would be back pitch minus front pitch for lap winding as indicated by this diagram. So the winding pitch would be yb minus yf that would be equal to Now we need to make the winding table. So we'll start with 1 and then we will add the back pitch. So 1 plus 9 will be equal to 10. So back connections would be from 1 to 10. Then from 10 to front connection on the front side of the coil would be 10 minus front pitch that is 3. So we are moving on the back side. So we are having 9 back pitch so 1 to 9 slots ahead we would be going to 10 and then we would be moving back so negative sign so 10 minus 3 so here we will be connecting with the third coil side then from again third conductor or coil side to adding back pitch with it so we have 3 plus 9 is equal to 12 and from 12 to 12 minus 7 5 and so on we will calculate for each step and we will keep on calculating until we reach back to where we started that is 1. Now at one point what will happen is that the number will be greater than the number of coil sides or conductors. So in that case we would subtract with the number of coils or conductors. So when we get number higher than that so if we are getting 34 we would be doing 34 minus 32 is equal to 2 and so on the front side from 2 to 34 minus 7 is equal to 27. In other method we can also write here 2 minus 7 that is minus 5 so here we need to again add 32 because minus 5 is not a valid number so in the same way we will get 27. So we will carry out the process until we reach to 1. So we are coming back to the coil side or conductor from which we started the winding. So this is our winding table following which we will be doing the connections in the diagram. So we will be referring this winding table. 
so now we will be drawing 32 lines one normal and one dashed or broken line so 16 normal line and 16 dashed lines in double layer winding top coil side is indicated by a continuous line and the bottom coil side is indicated by a dotted line numbering of coil sides is continuous such that top coil sides in slot are given odd numbers and bottom coil sides are given even numbers commutator segments will also be numbered consecutively and the number of segments will be the same as that of the upper side connected to it now also write the numbers on the bottom side for conveniency of drawing so the line and the numbers can be identified easily now we will make the back connection now the top side is the back side or back connection side and the front side is the commutator side so we will be making back connections according to the winding table so one will be connected to 10 then 3 would be connected to 12 5 would be connected to 14 and so on we will do each and every connection on the back side of the winding diagram now the last four coil sides number 25 27 29 and 31 would be connected to number 2 4 6 and 8 so to indicate the continuity of the armature winding we would draw these lines like this now we will make the front connections according to the winding table so 10 would be connected to 3 12 would be connected to 5 14 with 7 and so on we will make each and every connections as per the winding table now as in the case of the back side on the front side also 27 29 and 31 would be connected with 2 4 and 6 so we will indicate it on both sides to indicate the continuity of the winding now we will draw connections on the front side from coil overhangs to connect the coils to the commutator segments so these are the connections for connecting the coils with the commutator segments now we will draw commutator with 16 segments such that the commutator segment connected with coil side 1 is given number 1 and so on now we will draw four poles such that all conductors are equally distributed under each pole area as pole pitch is 8 that means 8 conductors are under one pole so first pole will have eight conductors one two three four five six seven eight and so on and we will be drawing consecutive north and south poles so these are our four poles of the machine now to find the direction of current in each coil side or conductor we will be applying Fleming's right hand rule as per Fleming's right hand rule if we keep our thumb in the direction of the motion of the conductors our first finger in the direction of the magnetic field then our second finger will be indicating the direction of the current if we are placing all these three all two fingers and the third thumb perpendicular to each other so it means to say that the direction of the motion magnetic field and current all three are perpendicular to each other now assume the motion of the winding or the rotor is from left to right so these conductors coil sides and commutator is moving from left to right as indicated by the arrows so this is the direction of the motion the field direction for north pole would be coming outside from the plane of the diagram so as per the Fleming's right hand rule the direction of the current in the coils under the north pole would be downside as indicated by these arrows in the same way for the conductors below the south pole the direction of the magnetic field is reverse so the direction of current will also be reverse so current would be going upwards now 
now we will draw the current direction arrows near the joint of the commutator segment so we will drag down each arrows near the commutator segments now when we will indicate the arrows here what we'll observe is that we will find out a segment and joint at which arrows are in the same direction they are meeting at the point so they are both coming out so if you see here these arrows is coming here and going ahead here also arrow is coming ahead and going ahead but here both the arrows are meeting so this is the meeting point of currents or emf and hence the current will be flowing out from this commutator segment so we have two such segments 1 and 9 from which the current is flowing outside and in the same way we have two segments 5 and 10 uh, 5 and 13 pardon me from which current is going towards the conductors this is the separating point of the emfs or currents so segment number 1 and 9 will have current coming out from them and segment number 5 and 13 will have current going inside so we will place positive brushes at segment 1 and 9 and negative brushes at segment number 5 and 13 now we will connect both positive brushes and negative brushes to have a single positive and a single negative terminal so this is the winding diagram in its developed form with the position of the brushes on commutator segments now this diagram is such that it is obtained by imagining the armature surface to be removed from the armature and laid out flat so that the slots and conductors can be viewed without the necessity of turning around the armature in order to trace out the armature windings. The actual armature is in cylindrical shape. So we can also draw this kind of connections in a circular shape. So we have all the 32 coil sides. So we can connect conductor 1 to 10 on the back side and on the front side 10 to 3, then 3 to the further connection and so on. So this type of diagram is called ring diagram. So coil side 1 to 10, 10 to 3. 3 to 12 and each these connections are also connected with the commutator here and commutator segments have brushes on segment 1 and 9 and negative brushes on segment 5 and 3 so this is the entire structure so both are different methods of drawing the connections this is the lateral or we can say laid out flat structure of drawing the armature winding in its developed form now for sequence diagram we will draw 32 straight lines to indicate coil sides now we will join the lines to form a spiral or sequence circuit it is it is also called a spiral diagram now we will check the winding table for sequence now we will give the numbering as per the sequence of the connection so from 1 to 10 10 to 3 3 to 12 12 to 5 and so on so 1 to 10 to 3 to 12 to 5 14 and so on now we will refer the direction of currents in the our developed diagram of winding and then we will mark the direction of the currents as per the number of coil sides from this diagram and as in the case of this diagram we will have two separating points and two meeting points of emf and we will place the brushes on those points so positive brush is connected to segment one which is connected with one and eight so here we have one and eight and positive brushes here negative brush is connected with 16 and 9 negative brush here also is connected with commutator segment 5 which is connected with 9 and 16 so if you see here current is coming from negative brush going to 16 then 7 14 5 12 3 10 1 and then coming out of positive brush in the same way it follows the sequence like this in each circuit so the circuit here is divided into four parallel parts so 
this is the complete sequence diagram if we join the positive and negative brushes so that is all what was asked to us to find the front pitch back pitch and winding pitch the winding diagram it's in its developed form and the sequence diagram thank you for watching this video